Alright, here's going to be the software review part of the new iPad. As you can see, home screen. You got the top, the standard Apple size. Solar armor seems to be work a lot better than the iPhones. Got a sleep wake at the top. And then screen lock, which goes down like that. And that pops up. This volume doesn't work in this part. I'm going to turn screen lock off for now. Make a portrait. Um, so this is home screen. Two pages. No apps. Um, or classic search. I'll see it in this view. And then creates different tiles. And instead of having five columns of four, it's four columns of five. But seems pretty solid. See so calendar changes. Well, in portrait view, landscape, you can see now how uh, big it's gotten. A lot of changes here. Got down here, scroll. So you can scroll through the days. Um, April, pick back today. Or comes kind of smaller view. So with the standard features, scrolling at the bottom. But nice new changes in general for the calendar section. So with the universal search up top. Long tap works in here. Alright, let's go to contacts. So, haven't seen any contacts. Use that little blank spot at the top. Seems nice. Here, you don't have the blank spot. Let's just scroll through. Seems pretty nice. Alright, let's head up notes. Like standard notes, portrait view. I have this new section. If you want to create a new note, start typing there. Well, just look at this keyboard. It's pretty nice. Nice big. A little hard because of the bezel to get around. But overall, pretty good. Um, see if they have. Pretty standard, nothing really tipped holding in on this. Um, yeah, that's all I see here. Notes see it sync to maps. Let's search. Um, Golden Gate Bridge. See if it pulls up. That wasn't search. Search. It's surprisingly a lot faster than the iPhone to use around. You can see that. Hold on here for options. Have a satellite. Another interesting thing, well typing. You don't really have the uh, traditionally on the iPhone. The keys pop up on this one, it does not. So here we have the Golden Gate Bridge. Let's see what this looks like. Same basic things, functions. In here, Let's see train. That's a new feature. And you get a train base map. Um, videos. This basically just shows the videos. By the way, this is really, really responsive. So let's watch the hangover. Gives you a little preview. Play. It's 
very gorgeous display, by the way. The speakers are sound pretty good. Standard controls there. Um, YouTube. Let's go to top rated of this week. I'm not sure if this slowness is probably due to my network, which just seems to run pretty slow. There we go. Let's see. Team Fortress 2. Let's see what this looks like in this mode. All of your types on here, most viewed, favorites, subscriptions. Um, let's just see this one. Watch it any orientation. If you watch like this, hit the description down here. Related videos, more comments. Or here you just go full screen. Done. So now with YouTube done, we're update. Otherwise, pretty much the same. Wait for this a little. And gives you the iPad top free and play. More like iTunes. It's nicer. Same. Each orientation. They're new. Many drop downs are using. Um afterwards let's see what's in settings. So settings, as you've probably seen before, has a pane on the right. So you can go down here and go to specific settings for each app. Do this sideways, portrait, landscape, and get more options. 